All right, so this section, we're actually going to look at contributing to the team. So the first section that we had a look at, you kind of um, had a look at, okay, this is how we're going to form our team. These are the rules that we're going to put in place. And this is who's going to be responsible for what. Now, the section of your assessment that we're going to look at um, is how have you as a group member contributed to the team? Um, so certain aspects we're going to look at, we're going to look at make um, making contributions to help achieve the objective, ask questions to obtain and clarify information, and giving constructive feedback. <laughs> so let's start with um, making contributions to help achieve the objective. Now that can be found in page 17. Um, so first way that you can really make a contribution is just give ideas. Um, there's going to be a lot of ideas to give for um, setting up your own store, making your own business ideas. So there's so much that you can talk about there. Um, simply doing that can be used as evidence for you making a contribution to your group. Um, another way that you can make contribution to your group is by giving information. So with information, there's three different types of ways that you can do it. Um, one is for a general fact. So remember that our budget is $500. Um, remember that in the previous meeting we said we're going to make it blue or black and that's going off information that's that's vis visibly there um, another one is what's called a statistic so this is a certain measure or evidence from somewhere else so um, how 20 percent of students came to the last event so maybe we need to do something to get more students to come in um, so, or maybe half of the people came to this event so we need to make sure that we're um, prepared. Another way that you can give information is by giving a comparison to your group. So you could say, I had a look on the warehouse's website. They had it for $2.50, but they came out have had it for $1.50. Um, another way that you can give information is by giving your opinion. Um, so that can start with such things as I think, I reckon, or in my opinion, which is a little bit more formal. Okay. Ask questions to obtain and clarify information. This one you probably need to look in the learner's guide if you're unsure about the differences with um, open and closed questions. Um, now, questions, they do need to be asked to obtain information and clarify information. Now, two ways you can do that. Um, one way to obtain information is with open questions. So these are questions that need more um, than just a yes, no question. So things like, why, why do you think we should go with this idea? Or what's the best way that we can sell this product? Um, what ways can we look at getting more people to come to our store instead of the other group's store? All things like that. Um, closed questions are, are clarifying information. Just to double check that you need to um, get a little bit more to know what they're talking about. So um, um, one way that you can do that is with yes, no questions. You can go, um, did you mean this? And that will give you a yes or no. Um, can you do that task instead? Have you finished um, designing those posters? So all that type of stuff. Now, this also is a part that you need to put into your assessment as evidence as well. Now, giving constructive feedback, there is a difference. And this one is one that I've noticed a few students have gotten wrong in the past um, before. Now, bad feedback. Um, that you notice a lot of is where people go, I think this is really good. Um, why is it good? So if you look at here, bad feedback, me, mean poster, it's a good one. Why is it a good poster? So if you look at the, in the second version, it goes mean um, poster, the picture of the plate is big enough to see. So that's probably the why. Um, we might need to make the price bigger though. Um, feedback's good to make sure um, you can let whoever's responsible no, uh, for that task and that they're either on track or give certain advice as to what improvements can be made um so that's the end of that section um now next is a video of the apprentice celebrity now when you look at this video when you look at this video um have a think about all these aspects that we talk about um who took roles and responsibilities did the groups actually do roles and responsibilities um uh, did they ask for information or did they clarify um, where mistakes were made? Did they obtain the information clearly? Were ideas allowed? Did they have a set of rules that they put in place um, where they respected each other, where there was timeliness um, and whatnot? 
uh, be prepared when you watch this video. Think about what we've just watched on these two videos, this one and the one up above, um, because you'll need to analyze that case study as part of your homework. Um, other than that, enjoy the video. You won't need to watch the last five minutes of it, um, but it will be helpful and it's, it's totally up to you as well. See you in class tomorrow.